Little topic uh, derail here. 10 right? million views on this. 10 million views? So recently, Mr. Beast recreated Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory for a YouTube video. Oh, and this was honestly I love the music. Video, but... <laughs> oh, it's yeah. supposed to like make you think like, damn, Mr. Beast is uh, it's a fucked a up guy. Person. Holy shit. And he still put CSGO surf footage in there, even though the video is like 30 seconds long. I unironically <laughs> You really love... need filler that much? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I still love this, though. Like, people, like, go on TikTok and do the leafy commentary, but for 30 seconds long. Unfortunately, there was a dark story behind this video's <laughs> creation. So in one... A dark story. Part of the video, yeah. there's multiple toilets, and one of them is made out of cake, and the contestants oh, had to guess which one was made out of cake. But Mr. Beast actually scammed the woman that made the cake out of toilets. Toilet. Yeah. This woman made a video claiming that she was hired by Mr. Beast to make the toilet cake, but he never paid her. And once this video went super viral, <laughs> Mr. Beast actually ended up seeing it, and then finally, Mr. Beast paid her. Mr. Wait, 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 wait so, so he did pay her. So, so what's the fucking problem then? It might, okay, it might have slipped his mind. Like, worst case scenario, yeah. it just slipped his mind. He has a lot going on. I mean, it's bad that I didn't pay her right away, yeah, but it's fixed. So what's... Okay. <laughs> I like the scary music though. It's like like the dramatic like and Mr. This... Beast did not pay her to make yeah, the chocolate out toilet. The... <laughs> out of all the things Mr. Beast has paid people to do, like it, of course it's a mistake. It's not like he's trying to intentionally not pay anybody. Well, dude, look at the first like uh picture of Mr. Beast they use here. He looks like an insane person in this first yeah. clip, right? And like the whole framing of the video is like Mr. Beast got caught doing something awful but then at the end they're like ah but he still paid her yeah, next video it's like all creepy music like and it's a youtube short too so obviously you know everybody who's watching this video is just gonna walk away thinking like with their short ass attention spans like oh shit he almost got away with it oh shit you know it's like i don't know like when i first watched this video i was questionable on it but now i don't know i think this video is bullshit you know, it's just like he probably just forgot, you know, somebody pointed it out to him or he, he found out one way or another and then he paid her and then that's it. Right. The oh. scary music is the best part, though. It's like a dark story. Like you think he did, he's about to talk about how Mr. Beast like molested her or something. Yeah, but exactly. In reality, it's just like, like he like forgot some to dark pay her. Alleyway, you know, he like, took advantage Boy, of her like, or something. Hey. Like uh, the thing is, I feel like this is how Twitter artists would act. They'd be like, he said he would pay me and then forgot. But eventually, he did pay me. Yeah. But the pain, the pain I feel lives on. I swear to God, I wonder, I have to wonder if these uh, YouTube shorts are going to be a problem if uh, more commentary people start using these things, right? You know, and just uh, fucking people over in like 30 seconds. Because I feel like these could do a lot of damage to people if, uh, yeah. you know, they blow up. Because the, the reach you get on YouTube shorts is, is fucking insane. Like, anybody... You know, people say YouTube is a platform where anybody can, you know, get notoriety. It, it is like total. It, it is even more true with shorts because shorts yeah. will get literally anybody's shorts can get picked up by the algorithm. You don't even have to really try. Like they just will get picked up eventually. It's fucking Fuck wild. research. Just like make a 30 second short calling someone gay and like it's over. Yeah. Man. So n needless to say, I'll be taking advantage of them pretty soon. Hell yeah. So, uh, Hell yeah. <laughs>